Hello friends and welcome back to my channel where I'm actually making a video. Um, and as you can see, this is not my desk, this is some digital art. So I actually ended up buying a new tablet that has a display built into it. And for whatever reason, maybe because it had a stand so I was able to angle it or something like that, uh, it makes my hand not hurt when I do digital art. So that's pretty cool. It's also very big, so that may be part of it. Um, there's a link to it down in the description. It's a Gaumon tablet. I think I have the 15.6 inch one. It's so big I had to replace my entire desk for it because um, it did not fit on my old one. But anyway, um, welcome back. Uh, thank you for indulging my car commercial. I did end up getting a new car, but that sale is still running until the 15th. So you still have time to capitalize on it, including if you want to buy a print of the piece we end up making today. So what are we making today? So today we are going to be redesigning Morrigan from the game Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't think she's in Dragon Age 2 anywhere. Um, and right now I am just basically drawing my mannequin on which we will put our new outfit. This is based off of a stock image from Rachel Bradley that she sells in her neutral pose pack, I believe. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, but yeah, I don't like Morgan's design. She's not wearing a whole shirt and I don't mind her being sexy, but I don't find this outfit sexy and I do find it distracting. So I'm circling the areas that I'm going to be keeping, which are basically the accessories. I'm gonna to try to keep this weird skirt thing. Um, I don't actually succeed, spoilers, but we're gonna keep the jewelry and I'm gonna to try to keep the vibe very similar in the color palette. I just wanna put a whole shirt on her, so we're gonna work on that. Um, so first I'm just kind of sketching in the rest of the details of, like I said, our mannequin. Um, I'm trying to get her to look like Morrigan does in the concept art and the game, which is a tall order because um, the Dragon Age team didn't successfully make her look like she does the, in the concept art to the game. <laughs> um, Dragon Age Origins graphics are a little chunky. They're rough, but not that it looks bad, it's just a game from 2010 and it hasn't aged beautifully, but that's what mods are for. Speaking of, there is actually a mod to, or there's several mods to redo Morrigan's robes. I've left a link to my favorite one down in the description. If I knew how to make Dragon Age mods, I would probably put this one that I'm designing right now into the game, but I don't, and I don't want to learn anything ever again. So we won't be doing that. But if you want to, let me know, because that seems like it would be pretty cool. <laughs> so you may be asking yourself, uh, where did I go? Uh, and I will tell you, as I continue to sketch in this jewelry, um, I was doing Kickstarters, as you know, because my last couple videos were about that, other than the car one. Uh, and I got really busy, and I kind of just didn't have any time to make videos or the energy to film them during my days off. So I didn't for a while, but now I'm here. Uh, it should be easier to make videos now that I can record at um, my computer because I can just screen record and I don't have to do color correction and stuff, but I'm still not gonna commit to doing videos every single week because I don't want to overwork myself. Uh, I've got a convention coming up next month. Uh, if it still runs, we'll see. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try to do every other week, but I can't commit to it at the moment. So back to the video. My first attempt here, I tried to keep it very close to the original design and just kind of move the hemline and put a whole shirt under the weird hoodie thing so that, you know, she's not one movement away from a catastrophic outfit failure, a real Janet Jackson moment in the middle of a big scary fight. Um, I end up scrapping this draft because uh, it looks one, mostly like she's just on her way to a convention rave. <laughs> and I didn't end up liking the silhouette of this design, but it's not a bad place to start. Like her design isn't terrible. I just really hate her shirt or lack thereof. Um, I find it very objectifying. I don't understand why Morrigan as a character would wear it. Um, because she doesn't really seem to care about her appearances very much. Uh, so it's just weird and it dissonant and it doesn't make any sense to me. 
Um, so I decided to axe the weird skirt, like I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna try to bring elements of it back in here, but it was really messing with the silhouette that I was going for. Uh, so I ended up starting a second draft with this kind of tunicky dress thing. It's like a tunic that was once a dress, but the edges have been so frayed and screwed up at this point that it is no longer uh, as long as it used to be. I really wanted to lean into that, like, which of the wilds they live on what they can steal from people and scavenge. And they are very practical people, Morgan and her mother, Flemeth. Um, and you can see here I'm trying to incorporate part of the skirt again, and I failed, and I decided not to do that. So uh, this is a design that's kind of inspired by like several things. I get ads on Wish for like Ren Faire type fairy costumes. And a lot of them have those like two seam lines. Uh, I think they're called princess seams along the chest. Uh, so I stuck with those because they feel very medieval to me. Uh, and I kind of wanted to iterate on that. Like maybe this was a longer dress that belonged to a noble woman whose cart got they raided in the wilds or whatever um and has been handed down to morrigan after generations of being in a dank closet and that's why it's so faded and so uh, dim in color because this burgundy color is really desaturated and it seems to be intentional though dragon age origins just has a very desaturated palette in general um also the reason i'm doing this is because i am currently replaying dragon age origins uh for the first time on pc and dear lord that is a terrible game on PlayStation 3 by comparison. I've only played it on console and it was really bad. Um, I hope that they will do a like Dragon Age Legendary Edition like they just did for Mass Effect at some point and remastered Dragon Age Origins a little bit just so that it works better on consoles. And also there's a lot of glitches that are kind of game breaking <laughs> in Origins. So I hope they will patch some of those out. So I skipped the process of doing my flats here because it's really boring and I have to jump around with the camera a lot and I try to edit with Vertigo in mind because I both have it and I have a lot of friends who have it who maybe watch this channel. Um, so yeah, uh, here we are going into the face. I'm trying to get her face to look as similar to her real face as I can while keeping this stylized and not overdoing it. Um, she had purple lips in the concept art, but I saw that by the time the game came out, they had changed them to red. So I just went with the red color, um, because the purple looked a little bit too, I am 15 years old and I'm going to my first rave with my youth group at the roller rink. Um, and we're doing a lock-in sleepover. <laughs> Related to that, um, since I just drew like perfectly applied lipstick in like that dark burgundy. I am not at all going for historical accuracy with this one because Dragon Age is pretend and it is set in a pretend world that isn't ours. So I am taking some inspiration from like historical fashion stuff that I know, but I wasn't sitting here with like references open, like, okay, so what era would this game be in? And what were they wearing at that time, etc. It's I'm just, I'm just, we're having fun. I put on like ridiculous makeup on her later based on the makeup she wears in the game that is very modern and like, oh, why would she have eyeshadow out in the middle of the woods? And like, I don't care, it's a game. She can have eyeshadow if she wants. Um, so I'm mostly going for like storytelling beats with the outfit and general aesthetic. I'm not going for any kind of historical accuracy because again, Dragon Age is pretend and not real. Fun Dragon Age trivia. Did you know that Thetis, the name of the Dragon Age setting, is just, it stands for the Dragon Age setting? Legend has it that, you know, the devs were just writing that on all of their documents and it stuck. So that's kind of funny, right? Dragon Age trivia. Um, yeah, so we're still on the face. This isn't really design. And so I apologize for misleading you with the title of this video. I mean, it is a redesign, but a lot of it is me working on this face. I did not like how it was looking at this point, so I flipped it over, which is very nice to be able to do in digital art. Uh, I have gotten spoiled by the shortcuts I'm able to take, um, but at the same time, uh, it can sometimes cause me to overwork things, which I think I do here. By the end of it, I think we've come back to a place that I'm happy with, but uh, I am a silly goose, and sometimes if you give me too much ability to fiddle, 
uh, it causes problems, which is, I think, why I gravitated to traditional art for such a long time, because it didn't let me take those shortcuts and forced me to kind of get better over time uh, at just getting my sketch right the first time. But yeah, don't be afraid to futz with things. I still always draw my heads too tall, so there I am fixing that. Um, and I also cut out here about 10 minutes of me going through different brushes. <laughs> I ended up going with the pencil from the Paperwick Tarot Brushes, which is a Dragon Age um, based tarot set. I've been learning to make the Dragon Age tarot cards and I would like to open commissions for them at some point. Uh, I'm not quite comfortable enough with them yet, but I just really like the texture on this particular pencil brush. And even though I have a bunch of brushes, have not been able to replicate it. So I ended up using that and I was originally going to try to like stylize this like Dragon Age concept art and then I realized I didn't want to do that because it would take forever. <laughs> um, oh, and there's her fun chunky middle school rave makeup. Um, I wanted to preserve that and the lipstick because, and I don't know if they were doing this intentionally, so Morgan is pretty young um, and I feel like she's coded to look like a teen goth going through their heavy eyeliner phase. Like she's deep in her MCR phase. Um, and so I wanted to preserve that look, that kind of coding that signals to us as players, oh, she's a goth. Um, so I kept her silly makeup, which is anachronistic if you want to get into historical accuracy in a video game, which is pretend where we're all just having fun here. And see, look, I even left some titties in here for you. She still has boobs. I just made it so that you can see a little less of them because what is that weird hoodie thing, dear Lord? But yeah, regarding like how they style her, like obviously they want her to look like a goth. I don't know if they wanted her to look like a young teen goth. Like, I think the makeup might have been their attempt at making her look hot, um, but it just looks very silly and over the top to me as somebody who used to do my makeup that way from time to time uh, when my mom would let me or, you know, didn't know. <laughs> my goth phase was very short lived. I was always goth in spirit. But mostly I just dressed like I walked out of a Lane Bryant catalog and was on my way to a job interview. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like Morgan. She's only supposed to be 18 in this game. And I feel like her outfit makes her look like 10 years older. And I think that the outfit I have designed preserves her kind of youthful look a little bit better. Because the one that she's wearing... Okay, I'm going to stop complaining about her default outfit now or we're going to be here all day. Um, here come the princess seams. Uh, they were in my sketch and here I am putting them on the flat layer for the painting. Um, I've gotten very fond of digital painting. I kind of put myself through a boot camp for the last month learning how to do it properly or do it at all. I don't do it properly. I don't know if there's a proper way to do it. Um, but I prefer it a lot to doing line art and going from that because I don't like doing line art. Uh, I find this to be a lot more satisfying. I still haven't really found my digital style yet, like the be the way that I most prefer to do things like I have with marker and paint or watercolor paint specifically. I don't have style with other paints, um, but I'm getting there and I'm starting to really enjoy digital, which I had lost my ability to do for a long time. So it's nice to be back in the game, so to speak. My wife just helpfully reminded me to tell you all that this is the first in a series. I might have said the name of it earlier, but this is the Bikini Armor Be Gone series, where I will be redesigning awful female character designs from things that I like or love uh, to make them more palatable to me specifically. That doesn't mean you're a bad person if you like these designs. I enjoy drawing characters with their tits out as much as the next person. I'm so glad I'm not monetized yet, so I don't have to worry about saying things like tits out. Um, but yeah, so this is the first video in the Bikini Armor Be Gone series, even though I guess Morgan's technically not wearing armor, it's supposed to be robes. Um, because mages can't wear armor, but that's a gameplay distinction. It's it's the same, it counts. Um, and I'll be doing designs that aren't technically armor, like one I really wanna do is Edie from Mass Effect. And technically she's not wearing armor at all because she's naked um, all the time. And that was a choice that was made on purpose. <laughs> and I really don't like her design. And even when you can put clothes on her, she has massive camel toe. And it's just very distracting and I hate it because I love Edie as a character and she deserves better and she can still be hot 
without looking like the way she does. So I'll probably be doing that one next. I don't know if that's going to be my next video, but it will be the next one in this particular series and I will be making a playlist. And the more people that I make angry with my big social justice warrior feminist redesigns uh, to ruin everybody's fun and kill boners everywhere, um, the better for me in my heart, because that means that I'm doing something good for the world. <laughs> Um, and I want to make a distinction that real people wearing whatever they want is totally fine. I'm not here like the Catholic Church or your high school principal saying you need to cover up those spaghetti straps, young lady. Um, this is just about objectification. Uh, fictional characters don't have agency because they are fakes and they were designed by a person with a goal in mind and Morrigan's goal seemed to be to make her really sexy and I don't think they necessarily hit that. I find, again, her outfit very distracting and not in necessarily a good way. I think her boobs look weird in the model of this outfit. They just don't look realistic. They look like pancakes. Uh, so it's more about just taking designs that are very, I think, objectifying or sexist and making them less so. If you dress like default Morrigan in real life, more power to you. You can dress however you want and anyone who is a consenting adult can do the same. Uh, just, I don't love the character designs here and as a woman who has been playing video games, well, a non-binary woman, I'm sort of a woman, uh, but I've been playing video games since I was a kid and this is something that's bothered me for a long time. And even when I was able to play as girls, a lot of times the outfits were really sexualized and weird and it made me feel gross playing those games. It was a big deal to me when I played Pokemon Crystal the first time and I was able to play as a girl at all. And I got really excited about more girls in video games in general. And you know, then the trend became, well, they should all be mostly naked, right? Yeah. This is good character design. Um, and I found that really disappointing. And it seems to be moving in the other direction now. Bioware in particular has gotten a lot better in recent years. The designs I think in Dragon Age Inquisition are great, but yeah, the old ones need some work. So here is my take. I threw a background on it real quick. I didn't draw most of those shapes in the back. There's the Photoshop legacy default shapes. Someday I'll do a tutorial on how to do quick and dirty backgrounds like that. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe to put more shirts on cold titties. And you can get a print of this in the description below. Bye!